Hello, this is Romer, also known as Calvin, and this is the Legends of the Phantom Hourglass, and this is also Link's Great Voyage, and we are in the Temple of Gust, and I, like, mentioned how much, like, I love this mechanic. Any mechanic that, like, pushes you back is something that I really love. It usually means there's gonna be a lot of puzzles that are not, like, too difficult, um, but that are also a lot of fun. It kind of reminds me of, um, Crash Bandicoot back in the days. I don't know if you guys remember um, playing those type of things where you have to like go on ice and like there's like any terrain that like is not natural is really fun to move on in a video game. Let's use this bomb to do what? Are we gonna have to run with it? I, d I guess we have to get the... For people who are new watching this by the way, welcome first of all and second of all it is kind of difficult for me to look down at the guy. I'm trying to figure out a way to do this. I think what I'm going to have to do eventually um, is just to suck it up and not play on the big TV. If you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> I did tap the screen. It was not It was totally my fault. And just play on the gamepad instead. Okay, so we need the bomb to go over there for sure, I guess. Hmm. Is there is there a way that I'm missing that you're able to throw the bomb? It is. Okay, you're able to throw the bomb if you do a run. Okay, I should have known that anyway. Like I should have I should have I that that's like a common thing in Zelda. But I guess I wasn't I was trying to run, but I wasn't running fast enough, I guess. Okay, so already we know there's going to be lots to do with bombs in here, which means we're probably going to get a bomb bag or something. So this stops this. I move on. I, another thing that I discovered which is really cool is the fact that, like, Celia... Wait, can I just move? I guess so. Celia is actually, like, where your stylus is. So, like, it works out pretty well, like, if you want to, like, know exactly where you're going. So, they didn't leave anyone in the dark, and they, they like, I think, they, they obviously didn't predict that people were going to be playing this on their, um, on their Wii U's later on. That's why I'm playing a Wii U in 2000 and freaking 18. What of it? <laughs> like, I still, I, like, I don't know, I'm probably still going to be playing the Wii U for a while, um. There's just so many games that I still, oh, wait, we still have to go back out here, do we? I guess we have to go down here. Were we here already? I don't think we were. Can we go down here? Okay. Maybe we actually have to go back down here. And do something. No, we do not. I wonder what's happening here. Because usually, like, I always do, like, the hardest things first when I'm looking at the puzzles in Zelda. Instead of doing, like, the easier things first. Um. So we notice a door here. Oh, we can just... We can just open it? Okay. <laughs> and that opens up the shortcut to the entrance. I'm a big fan of shortcuts. I really am a big fan of shortcuts in any game. Um, the first game I already played that I kind of would like seen like how cool shortcuts to me was like Resident Evil uh, Remake. Silent Hill as well. Like Silent Hill 2 back in the day. Like I loved the... Oh no! That was my own fault. I, I should have timed it. Silent Hill 2 back in the day was great for the, like, the shortcuts. I love that every once in a while my, my, my dialogue is being cut short because I have to, like, t like, worry about what I'm saying. Okay, so right here we're about to go into an area where there's probably going to be a bunch of enemies. So I'm going to have to look down at the game pad for a second. I'll talk to you in two seconds. Okay, that probably wasn't two seconds, but it was it was some sort of time. By the way, guys, like I said in the last one, but it wasn't the same now because, like, the amount of, like, submissions for the, the fan favorite video game video is, is insane. So you're like this. And I do want to thank you for that. Because, like, honestly, like, it's, it's going to be fun making it. I know that for a fact. Because I'm going to, like, I don't think I've ever really read anything that's not mine. Like, on camera. I've read comments before, but they were like spam comments. 
but now I get to read some of your stuff, and some of you guys said some pretty articulate stuff, and the people that didn't, like, give a description of why their favorite games are that, um, if I like the game, I'm gonna give a description of why it's good, <laughs> um, you know, if not, I'll just, like, read a wiki, <laughs> just read a wiki of, like, you know, because, like, a lot of the games you guys suggested are really, really good, um, I'm not sure which ones are my favorite of all the ones that you guys suggested, but there are quite a few. Oh, we need bombs for that. I guess we're good. Oh, and that's where the big key is. Remember this spot. Actually, there's on it's on the map, so we don't even have to remember too much. Okay, so we need something here. Can we pass over here like this? I'm wondering. Um, I guess we should talk to the Boingo. These things help. These things help a lot. Boing. The number of treasure chests left here is one. It still costs 20 rupees to travel lives. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, but that's the freaking... Mm, no, I know where. I, I, I'll, I can get that. Yeah, I can get that. Um, But what's this, though? I could pr I should be able to make this jump. Can I not? Do I have to like do a running jump from this position like here? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, we'll stop losing our hearts. Let's go back here. So, is there any place over here? There's this chest over here. Which I don't know how we're exactly gonna get to it. But we're gonna get to it. That's the only promise I have, really. Um... Did I miss something? I more than likely missed something along the way. I don't want to go all the way back though. This type of- this stuff is like really therapeutic by the way. I really like going through dungeons. It's the same with like Resident Evil and stuff like that and Dark Souls. I love just going through dungeons and not thinking about stuff really, you know? Oh, we can probably move this! Perfect. Was that, was that right? I guess we can move it back one tiny iota. I first heard that expression in The Simpsons. Perfect. And it's probably another shortcut, or at least like some type of cut. Perfection, okay. Okay, yeah, this is actually a really good shortcut, actually. <laughs> this game is being very generous. Which leads me to believe that something bad is going to happen eventually. Okay, we're about to get blocked in again. Okay, let's do this. I gotta watch myself with that bomb throwing. I think that's if, if if everyone had like one major complaint of this, of my bomb th of anything in this game that I'm doing right now, it's probably the bomb throwing, and I totally understand. But yeah, man, going through dungeons is like the best thing ever. If there's not hearts directly in the next room, I'm probably just gonna use that potion I bought in the last one. Oh no, we came from here. Okay. So we go this way this time. Well, there's probably hearts right here, actually. Yeah, of course. This game is too generous. Which is, I probably won't be saying that in a bit, actually. Can these guys actually attack you? They probably can. I don't know. Like I have, I don't think I've ever been attacked, but I think the shield is just really overpowered. Oh, because we have a few things we can do here. Um, it's better to get rid of these guys. I don't know what they're called. I wish I knew what they're called, because I kind of like... Over time in Skyward Sword... I learned what the enemies were called through their, um, through the things that they dropped. And the same in... What does this do? Okay, so we opened another shortcut? It was the same in, in Breath of the Wild. I learned what a moblin was because of, you know, their guts. And I think I, I could probably just look it up, but, like, I kind of like to learn orga organically. What they're called. Okay, there's another one here. I might just assume it's like Tekken rules if you don't attack. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it. 
Okay, no. I was just I was thinking if you don't attack, does the shield work like that? But no, it doesn't. Um, okay, we have this space here. We have a bunch of chests here. We have a stairs up here. So this is definitely where we have to go. To get this chest. Okay, it's a courage gem. Like, that's not too bad. Like, there could be way worse things I could have gotten there. I want to figure out this thing as well just before I go. Maybe I should read this, actually. Well, obviously I have to push these things, but, um... How do I get there? I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's something to do with it later. Maybe I'll get there later. I'll go back up here just in case. I don't, I don't want to, like, leave any stone on turn. This is surprisingly getting easier and easier to control as time goes on. Like, I was, I was actually worried that, like, I would never get used to it, but, like, now, like, it's just, like, second nature with this stylus. Well, not second nature, because I still have a lot of problems, with, you know, with, um... The way I'm playing and stuff. Man, this is really enjoyable, though. This is a really enjoyable dungeon so far. It's, like, not too difficult. Wait a second. If we... Oh, my God, I walked on the spikes. What happens if we push one of these... Oh, okay. Okay, maybe. No. Uh. Oh, I know what we have to do. And then it will bring us back onto the stone, and then we can pass through there. Freaking awesome. Like, I love stuff like that. And we got a heart for it. And then we can go downstairs. Everything's working out, and we're probably going to do a fire mission here. What's your favorite damn um, dungeon in this game? If I, For people who have played this. I know you don't want to give it away from me just yet. Actually, no, just don't, don't say that yet. You can actually just give me your opinion on this dungeon. Because so far I'm having a good time. Okay. Oh, not these guys. Okay, bring out a bomb with me. Just so I can kill them. There's a note. When all the pillars of wind rise, the doors will open. Okay. Then I guess we better mark it on our map. It's around here. It's around this general area. Okay. Hopefully we won't get attacked by any more of those creatures. So the first one we have to do is over here. Oh god, here he is! So... Again, I'm terribly sorry for like, shutting up during parts like that. So that's one. Sorry, no, 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 you're not allowed here, you're not allowed here. Okay, let's run, let's run for it, let's run for it, let's run for it, let's run, for it. Let's run for it. oh god, oh go, 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 go! Um... Okay, that, that, that was bound to happen there. That's the second one. We can probably get, oh wow! Okay. Oh, they stopped there. Perfect. And then we get a... What do these power gems do? I know, I know I've been told, but... I would like to be told again, if that's okay. Hmm. Let's bring out another bomb. Why would it- oh my god. Why would I allow that to happen? <laughs> okay, so we're, 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 we're doing pretty okay. In fact... Just so I don't die, I'm gonna drink the potion. Like, it'd be terrible to die here and have to go all the way back. I know there's a few shortcuts, but I don't wanna- you know, I don't wanna go all the way back. 
Sorry. Okay, now I can just get this really quick then, and then the door will open. We still need, like, a key for the locked door, though. But how many doors are open? There's a couple of doors here. So it opens up that door upstairs. Okay. And that door. This one's closest, so... Let's pass through here. Those creatures have a horrible life. Like, that's their whole life. Okay, we're gonna go up these steps, but, like, I think they, they seem kind of progression-y. Kinda. Yeah, we're gonna go down to the other one. Because if there's something I missed, I don't want to come all the way back. Like a key or something. That actually worked. Sorry, no. Sorry, no. Having a good time, though. Having a real good time. Is this a shortcut? If this is a shortcut, then that's good. But, like, also... Oh, we're here, so we can do this thing. Very well. Or at least we can do one of these things. Maybe we have to do all three. Or all two, I should say. So maybe the other side is... Oh, shit. Uh, so I'm guessing the other side then would be... Uh, where the other windmill is. Perfect. Man, I love... Like, this is so cool. Like, e like the care they put even into their DS games is, like, nothing short of amazing. It really is, like, and, like, the thing is, like, you expect them to, like, phone it in sometimes. But no. Kind of reminds me of Mulduga. Mulduga's a great fight, though. Mulduga's probably one of the best, probably the best fight in Breath of the Wild. Or is it? I'm trying to think. Let's, let's get an opinion from the Boingo. Or maybe it just tells us where our chest is. No thanks, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, so then we can do this. Really? Okay, that was... It didn't matter which way we went. And this is probably gonna open up some other door. Oh, it gives us the key. Then we can go through the key to the... Oh, okay. Everything is working out really well. And then there's a small key down here. There's a small key door where all the little snakes are. This is actually kind of interesting, like, it's really- it's, I'm telling you why it's interesting, because, like, I'm- like, I'm not using any fingers, really, other than, like, at all. I'm just holding the- the gamepad on my- my lap. I'm- I'm only- like, um, I'm only really using my fingers to hold the stylus. I think this is really, really, like, proper amazing. I don't- <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be the big key? Oh, it's bombs. Oh, no. oh, okay. Now, with bombs, we can have a bit of fun. Okay, give me that. Rupee. Wait, where do we need to blow up? There was oh, oh, the bomb. First of all, we know. I know there's a few places, but I'm gonna have to think now exactly where. Well, we can't go this way. We have to go the other way up. Where exactly do we have to bomb? Um. Sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry, no. Did a little roll there. Um, is there anyone up here we have to bomb? I don't think so. I don't think we have to bomb anywhere up here. I think I think they're I think we're kinda of done with this place. Link's not. Link's not, but that's okay. Man, like I don't have much time today and I don't want to stop playing. <laughs> this is so much fun. Um, I guess we have to step down here. Um there must be some place in which we can bomb. Some place, somewhere far away. Somewhere over the rainbow we can bomb. There must be a number of places. Let's go up here first of all. Because, I don't know, we might find something. I am self-conscious about scratching my Wii U gamepad screen though. Oh, we can't go back up through here, can we? Oh, we can, we can go down here. And go here. So it open, only opens from like that side. Okay. I play ball. That's like an old joke. That's like 
I've I've been doing saying that joke since like 2014, man. Okay, now we're here. Okay. Ah. Link didn't want to survive here. So now that we're here, we, we well, first of all, we should probably get to the. Okay, that was silly on my part. We should probably get to the. The only place we know where we have to blow up something is the, is the, the, no, it's okay, it's okay, like, we can, we can avoid that. The only place I know where we have to blow up something is the, the boss key. Oh, we could've just gone here. Or could we have? No, we, we went down through here, then we went up here. Unless there's something I'm like completely missing here. Okay. It's okay, Link. I don't think in a game like this there should be penalties for like jumping off stuff. Okay, here we are. Here's the place I was talking about. Um, not that it matters too much, but like, we might as well get this done. And then that will blow up that, so we can go up to here to get, but we don't have the key yet. Huh. I'm trying to think, where's the other places we can go? Okay, so we go back down here. We worry, like, this is like... This is like ultimate backtracking, because I'm now forward tracking to places I've always been, I've already been. But like... It, there must be somewhere in the snake pit that we haven't explored too much? That's my guess. Or maybe there's something- Oh, there's probably someplace down there, right? Hmm. Let's check. Like someplace down here? That we can blow up? Well, there's a chest down here anyway, actually, so that's a good thing. Power gem? Pink coral? Why would we need pink coral? Um, I'm wondering, do the bombs do anything for this, or do we need to put bombs here or anything that, like that? No. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll end it there, and then we'll figure out some more stuff in the next one. I'm having a lot of fun here, and actually it's becoming more and more natural. Like, look at this. Move to the left, move to the right, stall a bit, and then look, oh, look, Link's looking everywhere. Now Link's swinging, Link's doing a spin attack. I'm getting more used to it all the time, and it's getting more and more fun because of it. I'll see you very soon.